Hello everybody and welcome back to On Point HQ and I've decided to do a bit more kit bashing um, I said I wasn't going to do any more, <laughs> any more German stuff but like I explained my I have no willpower and if I get an idea in my head I've got to go with it and I'm in the mood for a bit of kit bashing so what am I going to do? Um, well the plan is I did a video um, a couple of months back where I decided to build a veteran Fallschirmjäger uh, section based in Normandy and they were um, carrying allied equipment so there was there was BARs there was um, a, a few Thompsons with a Sten in there as well and I really liked how the way that looked it was a, a really unique looking unit so I was going when I, when I did my video about the, the the fully completed German project I noticed that I I don't have any basic grenadier <laughs> any grenadier sections it's all it's all different bits and pieces but not what not one single grenadier section so that ends today so what i'm going to do is go away and build a um veteran grenadier section based in normandy again with a few uh, bits of equipment that they've liberated um during their time um in all, all my germs are set sort of the fighting uh, D-Day um, on um, D-Day onwards. Um, so we're talking Normandy, Falaise, then um, the Low Countries, and in, in actually into Germany itself. So I get my impre the impression in my head that the, the, these guys are in, in the middle of combat and they've been picking up and acquiring weapons where um, where they can find them. Um, there'll be a picture on screen now. Uh, <laughs> this is what I'm going to be using. So this is. A lot of sprues. So in there we have US Marines, uh, Plastic SS, Grenadier, Winter German, and the um, Commonwealth Infantry box. Because there's a couple of them. There's, there's some good arms in there that I'm hoping will really go well with the Grenadier bodies. But we'll, we'll soon we'll soon find out once I've completed this project. So what I'm going to do is do this brief intro, go away, build them come back and show you what I've done. Before I do that though, however, um, a couple of weeks back, there was a comment left on one of my videos, which I, I, I thought was a great comment. And uh, the dude that left it asked me, what when I, when I go about kit bashing, what equipment do I use? What what techniques? And I, I, like, like the rest of my, my hobby and my painting, I keep it simple, really, really simple. Um, I think sometimes simple is better than overly complex and you completely wreck it or you don't get the look that you're going for. So before I go away and start building um, my kit bash section, I just thought I'd run through the basics of what I use. That This here, this is everything I use when I'm kit bashing. So we've got two very basic craft knives, uh, what I like to call a pointy thing. Um, that, that is great for... Um, working green stuff and just a whole host of other different things uh, a file very important you have your file uh, some snippers for actually removing things from sprues uh, often used in conjunction with your file um, liquid green stuff um, i try not to have too many gaps but often there's, there's some kits won't join together as good as you would hope. So this comes um, in really well. I actually prefer this to normal green stuff. What I tend to do, small dab, mix it with a bit of water and then um, just brush it on. In fact, ah, let's find another tool. Ah, I use this. This is one of my sculpting tools. Uh, I use this one specifically for applying green stuff. It's got a nice splayed end there for mushing it down and a nice pointy end there for actually getting it into the, um, for spreading it over the figure. Uh, the last thing I use is glue. Now, I always use super glue gel. Uh, I've used this stuff for years. Uh, and in fact, I think um, uh, the Enigmatic Gamer was asking me about super glue uh, and I've recommended this stuff and I believe he likes it as much as I do. It's fantastic. It's just like super glue, but it, you get a, a, such a longer working time with it. Um, it's not so liquidy uh, and you can you can spread it around you can use a lot lot less of it as well so this really goes a long way so they are the tools of my kit bashing trade right i'm gonna go away i'm gonna make a cup of tea stick some music on uh, if anyone's still interested in the music i listen to uh while i'm kit bashing 
Today's tunes will be the croonings of the lovely Cannibal Corpse. I shit you not, that's what I'll be doing. I'll be listening to Cannibal Corpse. So, I'm going to go away, uh, make some tea, listen to some music, build some figures, and I will be back presently once I've completed these. So, I will see you all in a little bit. Bye-bye for now. Hello and welcome back. And I must say, that was a, a very pleasant way of spending an isolated uh, Monday afternoon. Um, lots of tea was drunk. Lots of Cannibal Corpse was listened to, and I finished the squad. So what I thought I'd do is just run through each individual figure, and see what I went up to, um, what parts I've used, etc. Um, so I've gone for a 10-man squad, uh, comprised of two LMG teams, uh, an NCO, um, two riflemen, two dudes with assault rifles, and one guy armed with an SMG. So what I'm gonna do now is just mesh around with the settings on the camera so you can see these. Ooh. Ah, there we go. So this is the um, the NCO. So what he's comprised of is a um, grenadier body and a grenadier arm. The head, I believe, is from the... Um, it's either the winter or no, it might be the SS box. Yeah, I think it's in the SS box. But the arm uh, clutching the um, the Tommy gun there is from the the Commonwealth uh, uh, infantry box. Uh, I don't know how common it was that um, Thompsons of that design were being used in in Normandy in uh, forty four onwards. Um, but it looks pretty cool. I do a bit of. Um, a bit of filing down to get it get it to sit flush against his body uh, but you can't really see it i just carved away at the um the butt of the tommy gun and also uh, some of his pouches but that's been that's been hidden um, there with uh, the pistol and the pouch added a map case there and i think he's very very suitably um ends here looking i also added as a an iron cross it, i think it's a bit too big <laughs> <laughs> um, but I think it, 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 it'll do the job. So yeah, world's biggest iron cross there. Okay, so that's the NCO done. So like I said, I, I then did two uh, LMG teams. And uh, the first one, I really like this one. Where do kit bash? And I like to create sort of characters. Um, and, and this one, he's just world weary. I mean, look at him, he, he looks like he's had enough. So again, Grenadier body. Uh, grenadier arm clutching the um, the LMG there, MG42. But for the the head, I've gone for it's a, a one from the Winter Germans box, and as you can see, he's got a bandage um, over one eye. He looks he, just, he looks less than happy with with his with his lot in life. Uh, and I think what I then did, the left arm is from the again from the infant the Commonwealth Infantry box, and just used that to make it look as if. If he's using his left arm to support the LMG, I mean, he, he's he's plodding along, and he? he's not he's not a happy chap. He just looks he looks properly not happy. But I like the pose. Again, it's not it's not a, a dynamic warlike pose. It's just a just a dude that's plodding along, carrying an LMG, and he doesn't look very happy about it. Um, the equipment is just very simply from the um, the Winter German box, and it's just the. Um, standard uh, entrenching tool gas mask uh, bread bag water bottles etc uh, so he comes with a loader so here's the loader uh, again made up from a whole host of different bits and pieces so again the body they're, they're all been based on the grenadier box set for the torsos and this guy's got a zelt barn as well uh, as is a loader i always add a um an ammunition box where possible this one it's the the, the sprues were given to me and uh, they'd all been pre pre primed that's why it's black uh, but the arm again captured weapon there so he is holding a british lee enfield uh, and again that is from the um the commonwealth british box uh, he's obviously picked it up in the middle of a middle of a firefight or he just likes using um the lee enfield equipment again it's from the um the winter german box and you can see he's festooned with lots of equipment there head is again from the, the from the winter german one again what i like about the the later warlord kits is the, the 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 facial expressions on the figures are really really good again he doesn't look as if he's having a happy day but no i like that 
That's the second LMG team. So again, Grandia body. And what I've done is I've used the arms from the uh, from the Platic SS set. What I've done is the SS smock comes with. I don't, I'm not exactly sure what they are, but there's a, it's a series of kind of um, ripple things on top of the uh, the sleeves and also the back uh, on the actual tunic. Uh, but what I've done, I've removed them and I've added a small bit of um, of green stuff just to build it back up. I actually need to go back in and um, and just file that down. It's looking a bit rough at the moment. Um, so he's there with his um, his LMG again. The, that piece of equipment is, is equipment there is actually from the Blitzkrieg, Blitzkrieg box. Um, but again, the other arm is from the uh, from the SS set as well, and the head I believe is the SS set as well. Uh, but that's the second uh, LMG operator, and again, just a nice pose. Um, he's in the middle of combat or he's relocating. Yeah, quite good. The, the arms are quite versatile yeah there's they've got the the um, the cuffs but this is late war where the kit was was so ununiform people were just using you know what what they could get hold of and there was no real uniformity that's what, that's what I, I really like about late war but there we go uh, his loader is here so again grandier body grandier arm uh, that arm again captured american rifle is from the u.s marine corps plastic box um, nice pose. I, I like the pose on this one again. He's just, yeah, talk about talk about phases of war. Um, but again, that that helmet is from that's from the SS box. Again, just a, this is just a really simple one. Again, the equipment is from the winter winter German box. Again, not not an awful lot of, of work. Just a combining of pieces. Uh, they all go together really well. I do a lot of the um, the warlord kits. Okay. So what's next? We'll do the uh, the guy with the SMG. So again, here he is with his um, it's an MP40, MP40, MP42, I believe. I always get these confused. Anyway, uh, again, I've used the um, the SS arm. As you can see, the green stuff's still a bit rough. I need to file that down. That we need to let it dry. Uh, head is from the um, plastic grandier box, um, and then we've got bits of equipment. Really, really easy to do. I think he I think he looks the part actually. He's in classic Sven Hassel cover pose there, clutching a gun and yelling. Can't go wrong there. Um, next up is two rifles. Uh, I really like this one. This is the pose, um, the facial expression. I used the arms from the Winter German box. Um, I was debating whether to actually get rid of the cuffs, but I've left them on. Again, it's it's late war. I mean the. They're going to be you're going to be using whatever tunics or smocks or tops you can find um bits and pieces of equipment there but the head is from the winter german box i'm gonna he's, he's got a um like a helmet cover uh, i'm just going to paint that green but it for me it's his, it's, it's his expression he he's he's in the middle he's in the thicker things he's he's in the middle of a fight and i think it works really well uh second rifleman this guy here this dude means business as well. Uh, so if you, again, Grandier body. This time I've used the um, the arms from the uh, the SS set. Now this didn't really fit flush, so the the gaps at the top have been plugged with a lot of green stuff. Again, just need to go in and smooth that out a bit. Uh, he's got no helmet, so I've attached it to his um, his waist there, uh, other bits of equipment. But again, cracking cracking facial detail. Um, I just, I, again, just like that pose, it just works really, really well. Uh, just the two left. Now these guys are both armed with assault rifles. This guy here, he looks a bit odd. Um, but again, I wanted to look like a, he's, he's in the middle of a, of a firefight in the middle of combat. Again, this is a mixture of all kinds of bits and pieces. So we've got the uh, Grandier body, the arms clutching the assault rifle and the, the spare left arm. Uh, again from the SS box just with those those top bits I didn't need the green stuff then because it came off really quite well there's no there's no gouges and the head is from the uh, the US Marine Corps box again bandage over one eye he looks he, he looks like he's having a bit of a crap day let's be honest um, but he looks like he's yeah he's, he's really really in the thick of it uh, just again equipment um, added and last but not least is another 
uh, Jay Holden assault rifle. Again, this is from the, the Winter German box. With this one, what I decided to do was uh, file the cuffs off. Uh, again, I've put some green stuff over that. I just need to re it's looking a bit rough at the moment. Once, once that's filed down and painted over, you, I won't notice it. So this is this is the the um, so he's got an, uh, an ST44 and he's just reloading um, and the head is from the uh, the SS box as well and equipment uh, from the Winter German box as well. So there we go. Let's put the camera back to where it was. There we go. So that is a kit bash squad of ten veteran grenadiers completed in the best part of an afternoon really um really fa fairly enjoyable way to spend my day um well i don't know when i'll get these painted up i actually want to actually want to work on them quite soon because i just like the way they've turned out i think they look really really good um i won't be using them obviously for the, <laughs> for the foreseeable future but um no as far as kit bashing goes this is why i enjoy doing it these are really really simple to put together and what i've got is a unique and a unique squad full of character and and real individual uh, kind of unique looking looking figures which is what to me what was what kit bashing is all about so i hope you enjoyed that video uh, if you've got any comments or questions uh, as always just leave them in the comments section below and i'll certainly respond to any uh, comments and questions but as always take care uh, make your dice roll well and i shall catch you all in the next video so bye bye for now